What's up, everyone? Welcome to your daily missed motivational, inspirational success tips. This is JJ Burden. So if you listen to episode 40, it was how to stay committed to your commitments. You probably heard, as I shared, I was off to a speaking engagement in San Antonio to be the closing speaker at Farm Credit Leadership Sales Event. And uh, I think it went pretty good. I mean, based on the response of the audience, they were engaging, they were taking notes, got some really good compliments afterwards. But if you did listen to episode 29, Accountability Partner, I know how I did once I asked my wife. Remember, feedback is the breakfast of champions. But she actually had all positive things to say, no constructive criticism or coaching or anything. So I think it went okay. Anyway, today's Daily Miss is going to be about leadership. I'm going to share something that I shared in that presentation. And I think this is a lot of, this is valuable to everyone. And when you think about leadership, it can be in different forms. Maybe you're a leader due to business, sports, family. You know, there's family heads. You're leading your family or your children and so forth. Or maybe you're just even part of a team. This applies to you. Now, we've all heard the saying, there is no I in team, right? There is no I in team. We've all probably heard it, totally agree with it. It means putting the team's goals ahead of your personal goals. Totally understand that. Now, but having been on many teams over the years, good teams, bad teams, underachieving teams, overachieving teams, I've been the rookie, I've been kind of that mid-tier veteran, I've been the leader, and whatever position I held within the team, the team success really relies on one main thing, I fully believe. Now, how do I illustrate this? I don't know how you're listening to this podcast, but if you have your smartphone available, I want you to go to the camera. Go to the camera. Very good. Now, you know the little icon thing. You can flip it so it's facing you so you can see yourself. All right. Are you looking at yourself? Here's what I've learned. All team success has to do with the you factor. It's the you factor. The person you're looking at in your phone right now, that's who's key to team success, whether you're a leader or you're just a team member. You know, it's not the person behind you, next to you, in front. No, it's the person you're staring at. That's why I came up with this title of there better be an I in team. There better be an I in team because in order for you to successfully lead a team, you have to be able to successfully lead yourself first. You know, the team success depends on it because leaders lead from the front. They set the pace. They set the standard. They set the example for the rest of the team. And when you do it correctly, you'll pull along those team members who are serious about improving their performance or, you know, really committed to the team success. So it's like you got to think you have to raise the bar of your performance first. And what does that mean? It means you've got to set the standard of an excellence, consistency, and professionalism for the rest of the team. and But when you get a collective effort, when everyone is doing this, who's part of the team, now you have the potential to produce a winning team. Everybody wants to be part of a team or a community. And most definitely everybody wants to be part of a winning team. So that's my encouragement to you. And that's the perspective I come from with that presentation because a lot of team training is always about what leaders can do to help their teams. I say first, focus on your personal and self-leadership. Before you start pointing the finger somewhere else, remember, it's the you factor. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay positive.